with it. So that is still available, but unfortunately at midnight, it's gonna go way up. I think it goes to what, $89 at midnight? Really, you wanna spend more just cause you wait a little bit? Uh, if you get it now, we got you covered. But at midnight, I promise you that price will jump up and you'll lose the flex pay. All right, here's the final item. It happens to be the very first item I ever bought from Chef's Line. And obviously I'm a big advocate of uh, Chef's products. Um, in fact, I have the black, but I actually have the original model, which was a lower wattage. And what's really interesting, even though I have the original model that has uh, fewer features, I still, absolutely love this induction burner. And my husband, who's really picky, he couldn't believe how great it works. Well, tonight we have the red, we have the black. This is the most powerful. And listen to this. We have now matched the lowest price we've ever offered. You can cook anywhere as long as you've got an electric outlet to plug it into. And that's what makes this so special. But there's a lot more than that. And of course, tonight we're $100 off. Lowest price we've ever done for flex page you get recipes to go along with it and you've seen chef and chef all night long on every single table that we're cooking on you have used your induction burner yes. what do you love most about it I mean, they're so perfectly hot cold and warm meaning you can control it by five degree increments. There is no stove top that you can actually control. But for those that may not know what induction is, can I show you and explain the technology? So here's a burner, ice cold, pan is ice cold, right? I'm gonna hit max sear, and I'm gonna add cold water. So by turning it on, what happens? When you turn on a light switch, the electricity goes to the wire, the light bulb goes on. Well, in this induction burner are two copper coils. So when you turn it on, something called AC, alternated current, passes through the two copper coils. That creates a magnetic energy and there's something called resistance, which is this. So the molecules bang each other and heat up instantly. How fast? This is already Starting steaming. Steam. <laughs> that was seven seconds steam. Probably another eight seconds, you're gonna see bubbles, as you're seeing here now. And then 10 more seconds, it's gonna be boiling. Crazy. Because it heats up everywhere. Now, the genius of induction is I can put my fingers Obviously, the pan's hot because the hand, pan's going to be boiling, but everything around it does not heat because I don't have any metal besides my wedding ring that could actually conduct electricity. And now, this is already boiling. Look, it's boiling, you right? guys. That's <laughs> boiling, but watch this. Go ahead, touch that. Isn't that crazy? Touch that. Oh, my gosh. It's, like, cool, right? I mean, if, if you boil water for an hour, that glass will eventually heat up. Yeah. But at this moment, so if you have children, right, it's the most amazing burner to have because well, also you literally can't your burn top, You crank up your stovetop. It doesn't heat up things that fast. And guess what happens? you got to wait for it to completely cool down so it heats up your whole kitchen. With this, oh. and Chef, you didn't, when you take this off, it right. immediately starts to cool down. It's oh, yeah. not 45 minutes later, and finally the stovetop's cool cool down, this cools down within seconds. And, and one, uh, you have the original. Yep. The other advantage of this newer one, besides being higher wattage, is just that. You pull it off, it starts to blink. When you put it back on, it goes again. The original, when you pull it up, you have to push a button You had to again. reset it. And I designed that because when I cook with the the pan leaves because I'm flipping my food. Oh, sure. And then I had to put it down and re-push a button. I'm like, come on, guys, this is a pain. Let's make it so that it give me a four or five second window so food, I put it back down. And that's yeah, what and got. that's a huge upgrade along with the power. My wattage is lower than this. This is the most, uh, the most powerful wattage that we offer. You know what I love too, Chef, is this to me is my portable stovetop. It's also my oh, yeah. extra stove top. For example, we've got a very old R uh, Airstream. It's a 1960-something or rather, and I don't even have a stove in it. Guess what I take when we travel? I put this in it. I cook everything on it. Also, we're nuts about really old stuff. We have a really, really old boat, and again, I don't have a stove in it. In fact, I had him rip the stove out because it took up too much room. Do you know why I had him rip it out? Because I knew I had your induction oh, burner. Oh, no, no, it's honest-to-goodness truth. You don't need a stove top when you've got an induction burner. All you need is a plug and now you're cooking more efficiently and more accurately right. than you've ever done before anywhere. Correct. And I think that's amazing. So I want to show you, this is the best demo that really explains how this induction works. Yeah. So this is a cold pan. This whole thing is cold. So we're going to put... Wait and notice, it says off, so it's, it's not... It's off, right? Tricks here. So we're going to do max sear. I'm going to use two thermal guns, right? Same guns. They both start in the 70s. So where Tracy's hand is, she herself is your 80, but next to you is still 70, but the pan now is already at 240. 
right? And again, look where fingernail is. It's still Her 74 there. Is within it's within centimeters thumb, of that right? pan. You, and you feel no heat. Not, no right? heat at all. The pan's at 340 now, and her wow. finger, her index finger here, is 77. Right? So she's not a cyborg, she doesn't conduct, she won't heat up. We're at 400 now. Wow. And just to really prove this point all the way, here's a piece of Americana. So the cheese is at 68 degrees, right? And then here, of course, the pan is already at 320. You can see the cheese starting to smoke. Okay. The cheese is smoking. This Bubbling. part of the cheese is still 71 degrees. And then, of course, it comes off, but that's because of the non-stick. But again, <laughs> You can put your hand right there. Right, right. So you have children, you have anyone that's that's cooking, and you know, use a gas halogen, especially the electric ones. You touch oh, that, and fry. five minutes yeah. after, you're still going to burn yeah, yourself. you get a huge blister. So the safety of it is great, and it's so efficient. Do me a favor, efficient. Chef. Take us through. We have eight minutes to go. Do you know we've already sold 700 of these? Lowest price we've ever, ever done. We matched our lowest price. We have four flex space. Guys, I'm telling you, get this one at home. You will be amazed how often you use it. Really you'll love it and you will not have to heat up your stovetop imagine that you may say well i only cook for me and my husband or just right. myself forget the stovetop i literally have ripped out two stoves out of two vehicles i guess a boat and an rv um because it was useless i didn't need it because all i use is this that's all i use chef can you show them all the controls in the front absolutely so, that's really brilliant so here we have obviously we have the on off right so we have six pre-programmed so low is 100 degrees, goes all the way to max here, which is over 550. And then plus and minus, up and down 5 degrees. There's also, this is programmable, and this is one of the most genius things about this, is this can be your sous chef. So imagine, you can program that I want it to turn on to max here in 45 minutes. So let's say you had two of them, and you had a dinner party, and you had to go shower and do your hair. You have boiling water for your pasta course, but you're gonna to forget to put that out, so you program it in 45 minutes, go on to max here, so your water starts to heat up. <laughs> and here I have my pot of oil, and you, and you want this at exactly 375 degrees, and I want to start that start heating in 30 minutes. So you can go to your shower and you don't forget because if you forget to boil your water oh. or heat oil at a party, oh, you're done. Yeah. I mean, you, yeah. you just look at the water and it takes twice as long. You know that old <laughs> exactly, adage, right? Exactly, exactly. And, and I love how that light means. this is. Yeah. It's so light and so quiet. The original induction burners that people may not know, they were large and clunky, had ee, that horrible sound, so you couldn't use them on live TV. And they were a thousand to twelve hundred dollars right. a piece. Right. Plus, it took two twenty. So you had to rewire your kitchen. So all of that wow. makes it so like, okay, I have induction, but it costs you two thousand dollars to bring it in. <laughs> Here for this price, which is the lowest it's ever been. It's a great price. And you price. plug it in, and oh. you're talking about glamping, yeah. right? You can easily just glamp with it because you just have a DC converter, yeah. right? You but can be again, on a picnic table, and as long as you've got electricity, you can plug into. You're cooking on this. Right. Look at this crust. Uh -huh. Oh, that's cool. a real that's great. awesome crust on a steak, right? And again, I mean, don't forget what Chef's using right now. That is part of the six-piece cookware set that Chef offered just a few moments ago. And by the way, explain how we know pans work on induction. Um, you just take your kitchen magnet that says Disney World or I Love Vegas, <laughs> and if it sticks to the pan, it's, it's induction work ready. So, so cast iron works. All of my pans work. But aluminum pans do not, because aluminum pans do not conduct. That's right. Right? And, and don't get panel. aluminum pans anyway, because these are much better. Yeah, oh my God. There's not, there's <laughs> not even, not really even a pans. question. Yeah. Um, right. So that's how you can test if your current cookware is going to work on induction. And then if not, just get some Chef Ming pans and you are good to go. So here's the other thing I love about these burners. You can, like I said, you can control it to any temperature. Ganache. The easiest recipe in the world to do for pastries. It's 50% it's 50 cream, 50% really good dark chocolate. Okay. That's it, you put it in, and to hold it, 110 is a temperature for chocolate. Because you want chocolate that is this, that is awesome and creamy mm. and dippable. For your pretzels, for example, like that. 
for your pineapple, That's for right. your strawberries, Banana. for your bananas, for your fingers. Mm. I mean, <laughs> if this get if this got to 120, the chocolate would burn. You have to throw it away. If it went down to 100, the chocolate would seize. You would have to throw it away. So this will save you money. And then with the point I love, if you have five, six-year-olds at a birthday party, you can put this in the middle because they can touch this all day long and no one is ever going to burn it's, themselves. It's literally cold right here. Cold. Right. And, the only and, thing and, that's and, hot is what's And by the way, if you, and when they spill chocolate on that, mm -hmm. that's okay. It's glass. Yeah. Everything cleans up. You know what's really nice about right? that too? You don't have a lot of rings and so stuff doesn't crumbly, stuff doesn't get down into oh, it. No. You ever it's, have just like a regular burner system and the stuff always falls down? Just go with this. And again, lowest price we've ever done. I want you to note flex pay, flex pay. I mean, that's amazing. On the flex pay, we're at under $20. Now, please re remember, this is your last chance at this price as well. When we get done, it's going to jump. And it's not jumping just $10 or $15. It goes up $100 at midnight tonight. If you've got an event, maybe you cook for your church, maybe you've got a family reunion coming up, maybe you've got the gang that you always have come over and you need an extra stovetop, this is it. If you're like me, it's just me and my husband now, I don't need to heat up my whole stovetop. I just put this out and literally plug it in right beside my stove and I'd much rather use this. Also, Chef, if I know so many women who are candy makers right. or want to make candy, but they don't because they have to have a thermometer and they got to get a the right thermometer. A oh candy thermometer. Oh, my God. Thermometer. And that's exact softball stage and medium ball and hard ball. That's all exact temperatures to the degree. Exactly. And pastry chefs love this burner because you can exactly do the degree you want. So here is another great thing. This is at... 375. Okay. That's the temperature I want for a fryer. Okay. This oil's 375. But, and you know what? Right. If it's too low, guess what? Yeah. It's not going to fry well. Exactly. If it's too high, it's going to burn. It's going to burn. Right. Exactly. So knowing I know what the temperature is, I can take my scallops and my scallions mm -hmm. together because I want the scallions to kind of stick to the scallop and the shrimp. And notice how this bubbling and sizzling is everywhere yeah. because the pan being the awesome midnight steel conducts heat so well, evenly to the edges. And this sizzling, because the induction burner is so great and maintains the heat, it never goes down. If you, saw, if you have a, a weak burner, and by the way, this is only an inch and a half of oil, people fill whole stockpots of oil because they don't want the temperature to go down. But we have a great heat source and great burner. We don't need to do that because it is such a pain in the derriere. What do you do with your two quarts of hot oil? Right, so I much mean, of it's, it. it's so much of it. Right. But look how this has already gotten GB&D. Can you imagine and D. fried chicken in this? Right? Hello. Oh, my